Please take care. <laughs> setting up Cane Creek coil, Kitsuma coil, again for a different bike, doing it at the Licky Hills, I've just finished the ride, so yeah, hope you enjoy it, same bike, same tyre pressures, full base tune, let's go try and set it up, slow pedaler, large transition spire 29, running Cane Creek, Kitsuma coil, 550 pound spring, unfit rider, blow in. Everything's set to middle. I'm gonna run a track that I've done a lot of times up here. Try and set it up nice, would be a good way to do it. Might not know any difference, but yeah, we can have a go. See if we can work it out, there's no jumps up here, so. Not gonna be anything really to try it out on. But uh, the bike's 170, 170. But with this coil, because I didn't buy it for this bike, it's now 160 at the rear. So it should be a little more fun. Sit into the travel a bit and yeah it's put in the low setting on the back as well so very slack now right enough for that boring stuff let's do some riding winter conditions please take care this looks prime so any moaning later on is me just making excuses for sure this looks sick Right, straight into Scott Whelan then. Sign didn't lie about the conditions, it is a bit windy, but apart from that, it's gonna be good. Oh, do any pedaling. Maybe a little bit of pedaling. Here we go. Back in feels a bit soft already. Not bad though. Oh, oh, that's mint. Wide out. Little drop off here. Have a look at that. Overcooked it. A bit stiff on the back. Oh, the old conditions are sick. through the stream and we're back to the pedal if we decode my mumbo jumbo i think i said it was too soft when i hit a berm it was a bit like wallowy and then when i hit the floor off a drop it felt very hard like it like it didn't go through the travel at all so a bit of Low speed added and a bit of opening up the high speed. See if we can make it a bit softer when it hits stuff like that. Like a square edge, it felt like it fucking rattled my teeth. We'll try it again. See if we can make it any better. We'll probably make it worse because I don't really know what I'm doing. Right, let's reel off some excuses. Downhill tyres tiring me out in the slack setting stinky for pedalling up shock not used to it too much riding at the weekend my legs are all tired uh, I, don't know, I can't think of any more excuses I'm just I guess I'm just average but working on it meant to have this as a local because these tracks are sick very short but it doesn't really matter because they're bang for your buck for sure oh right windy that's the other one it's really windy i mean gale force it's really not though is it not on base tune anymore so we'll see what this feels like exactly the same track exactly the same gear see what this feels like a bit more low speed compression Better there. Stood 
it up that time. Maybe a bit rattly. I'm hitting a bit quicker. A bit better. I want the grips on real. Oh, can you never get this corner right? Oh, nearly dead. Whew. All in all, felt way better. Yeah, it's one of the record books, but felt better until the end. Apart from my brain turning off in the last corner, that felt whew, quite a bit better. I think it's a bit rattly on small bumps, so I might have to address that. Everything else felt pretty good, so we'll see what a bit more tweaking can do. Might feel worse, but it's all learning, isn't it? And then I can open up my own bike shop, wrecking everyone's bikes. Sick. Another excuse. That's the lenses in my glasses I'm wearing. Yep, I'm virtually blind. Another lame excuse. Oh, yeah, I'm unfit. Yeah, this is me just doing something different for a change. Making this ride a bit more interesting. Trying to not fall off my bike because my foot just fell off the pedal. I don't know what I was doing there. Setting up your bike, I mean can be frustrating at least if you've got the video you can remember what you did always good to take notes I think and you might actually benefit from it and if you just start twiddling knobs at random yeah, it ain't gonna do any good all right time to do some random knob twiddling same track I won't do too much talking at the top until we're into it same gear there we go taking off a bit of some low speed compression. Oh, I've already. A cherry. Pretty good there. Oh, oh I've got his down. <laughs> Medic. Trickiest corner on the track only one you really have to concentrate on obviously i wasn't better luck next time no point going to the bottom i might as well push back up and uh, have another run but it felt good it felt fast i think i was a lot quicker into there well, i ran out of skills didn't i let's face it there's no arguments and help this corner a bit look at that beautiful so if you do go over the edge you have a great time Hopefully we won't go over the edge. Fix the damage I did to that corner. So get to the bottom, we'll have another laugh. But it felt fast before that, so hopefully I've got it set up now. Swig, hydrate, before we set up. Other water bottles are available. Oh, it's delicious. Sepati. Oh, Oh yes, that's probably the best I've ever got that corner. Whoa. Nearly binned it in the stream. Friend of mine who also rides a transition with a coil. Shout out the Kinetic Coach, Jack. Check him out for all your ginger beard grooming needs. And he said, coil shocks are like a fine wine. You just leave them alone and they mature over time and you just get used to it. I think he might be wrong. I'm not saying I know what I'm doing, but the back end on this has gone from a bit skitterish to uh, almost too fast for me now so I need to have a fiddle find a happy medium but uh, yeah don't be scared and just leave it alone because 
he might be riding around on a five, six, seven grand bike. He may be even more if you're a Santa Cruz crew. And uh, unlocking 50% of potential of what it can do. So, have a fiddle. I mean, don't go mad. If you haven't got any clue, ask someone who does. But I mean, I don't know much. And definitely gradually making improvements. It's not a 1942 Chateau Neuf de Pape, but your riding might not be Pap after you mess with it, so crack on. I do realise after the last alterations I did crash. Oh, oh he's down. So maybe Jack doesn't know what he's on about. Now it is definitely windy as I'm sure you can hear. Uh, might do a different track just for a bit of variety because you're probably bored of this one by now. I'm not because this track's mint, but yeah, we'll uh, do something different for a bit of spice. And, uh, this one's quite fast, this track, so should be a good test of what it feels like. A bit more low speed, keep it up in the berms a bit. Always get the wrong way in so this track, even though I built it. Oh, log. Oh, maybe that's the front wheel over the top. Yeah, to that. Right. I've got this track in if I do say so myself. Someone's blown that away. Right, get the high line. Corner in. But yeah, the rest of it is fully flat out. Oh, I enjoyed that, I'm glad I took a of it. <sighs> Settings on the shock for, well it's three stage, climb, pedal, and uh, descend modes. Obviously, you could run it, it's like it's fully locked out in climb, but it's actually better in pedal. Doesn't bob much. You can mess about with settings for that, but to be honest, I'd rather they work for the downhill. So we won't be tweaking that, but it feels mint to be fair. So on fire roads, in climb, really stiff, but just like having a hard tail almost, it's mint. Enough of that boring shit, let's do some more downhill. Shout out to all the boys that helped me build that last track. Uh, James Ashby de la Zouche, EJP67, Aaron Ickles. Go have a watch. Them boys are quick, got some skills. Kinetic coach doing some digging on that. The high line was uh, EJP's brainchild, and we just stuck it in, and it makes the track so much better. I'm going to do same track, but alternate line that me and Aaron Nichols stuck in one Sunday and it is wild fast so if you come up here and you do ride it take it steady first time because there's some trees that want to give you a kiss as you go fast no adjustments to the shock this time because it felt absolute fire that day so no messing can't forget to get a good thumbnail can you because I do literally every single time so Get a bit closer in, get that shock in. Ooh, spicy. Same track, but the alternate line. We're going to drop into a gully and then it's a weird high line and then it's real fast and sketchy. Oh, watch out for the log. Oh, oh we took a weird line in. Cheat out. Let's get the hands out for him. Oh, I did better on that corner. Stay a bit higher. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's gravelly. Get high there. Get high here. Oh, that's tight. Oh, it's fast. Greasy across here. That's so good. Oh, my foot's all wet. Didn't say it at the top, but that is the last run. Whew, never say that. Yeah, this is me finished 
bike's a bit dirty, not too bad, it was pretty good conditions. It went well. <laughs> Set up. Look at that. Ooh, fruity. Washer.